Hey friend, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, wise to resolve, patient to perform. Resolute is a 7.7% IPA from Drafting Table Brewing Company in Wixom, Michigan. Now, I like to call out first-time breweries on the channel, but Drafting Table technically isn't a first-timer because I've featured them on, on the channel before a couple times in the past, but they've always been collaborations. Now, this is the first time that I'll be featuring them solo, and I'm looking forward to trying this. You know, I'm also starting to call myself a bit of a reformed IPA fan, and one of my favorite beers from the Fall Beer Fest was Mean Vanilla, Vanilla Bean Aged in Rye Barrels from Drafting Table. So I'm ready to dig into this one. Let's take a look at the label and then time to dig. Fun fact, the earliest recorded history of engineering drafting was in 2000 BC, which was a fossilized aerial view of a Babylonian castle. So we'll grab the, the label here, and I'm going to grab a regular old pint glass, because that's what it says to do here on the side of the can. But it says Drafting Table Brewing Company in Wixom, Michigan. This is Resolute India Pale Ale. It's got a really cool watercolored uh, style label. It's a white background with a green watercolor on it and a sketch of a hop cone. It looks really beautiful. And then on the back here, it says Brewed and Can by Drafting Table Brewing Company, which you can find out about them at DraftingTableBeer.com. It says Resolute IPA is our flagship India Pale Ale and is named after our founder and head brewer, Rez. It's brewed with a melody of Pacific Northwest hops, exhibiting assertive citrus and pine aroma and flavor, making it a favorite for any hop head. And it has a bitterness scale here, which I kind of appreciate. It has three, I'm sorry, Four hop cones out of five, 7.7% alcohol by volume, uh, net content 16 fluid ounces, and it says, enjoy fresh from a glass, keep cold, and do not age. And it shows a picture of a glass that's just like this one that I have here. What a coincidence. All right, so let's go ahead and crack this and pour it. There is no uh, canned on date. I am recording this on March 3rd, but I can tell you this was just released in their, ta in their tap room. Uh, a week before February 23rd or 24th. I'm not really sure how that works out in February, but I found this on a store shelf in uh, at ABC Livonia, or ABC Tobacco and Liquor in Livonia, which is a favorite store of mine because they have a lot of singles, uh, and I don't like to buy a lot of stuff if I'm not sure about it. So let's go ahead and get a nose out of the can here. It has a really nice citrusy kind of piney, no pininess, but a citrusy, citrusy kind of uh, hoppiness in there. So let's go ahead and pour this. Wow, coming up really nice and gold. I'm gonna churn that up and slow it down. It's gonna rise up to the top. A really nice head here. Oh, draft on is their, I guess, is their motto. It says that on the back of the can here too. They're on Pontiac Trail in Wixom. So I've got a nice, about three fingers worth of head on this. As you can see from the overhead, they are nice, super compact bubbles. Of obviously, you know, of course, if you can see this across the top, there's some larger ones, but a majority are really nice and compact, really nice and packed closely together. And holding it up to the light, that is really clear. There's a little bit of some particulate matter kind of just kind of suspend in suspension there, but it is super clear. I can see my hand through it. No, no, uh, nothing, no haziness. This is not to be confused with hazy beer. And let's put a better nose out of it here in the glass. Just got a really nice bright scent to it. A nice citrusy, um, hoppiness to it. Kind of, uh, almost an orangey scent to it. Let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm, I'm ready. I'm chomping at the bit for this. So cheers. Okay, so what I'm getting right off the bat is a really nice kind of bitter tangerine, orangey, almost uh, almost like a honey flavor in there. It's really sweet. Kind of a uh, orange zestiness in there as well, like an orange zest off a of peel. Um, but the fr up front is very sweet. It's got a lot of that citrusy, bitter tangerine, uh, orange, not getting a lot of grapefruit. 
Wow, this is really good. It's got a lot, like I said, it's really sweet up front. It's got a lot of that oranginess, a lot of that, like I said, borderline honey kind of flavor to it. And then on the tail end, on the finish, once it hits the crest of your tongue and kind of goes down, that's where you kind of start picking up a little bit on that extreme um, citrus bitterness, hoppiness. Uh, I'm not getting... It's kind of like a one note bitterness. It's very citrusy. It's very zesty. It's very, um, I always kind of think of it like if you were to chew into a orange peel and you get that kind of bitterness, that's what I'm feeling, what I'm tasting on the tail, on the finish. That's just a really nice, easy drinking IPA. It's 7.7%, .7%, which is a little bit on the high side for just a regular IPA. I guess if you think about like a two-hearted, that's a eight, I believe that's 7.8 or 8%. It's kind of high up there. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. But this is really smooth, really easy to drink, really nice and sweet. Uh, there's not a whole like really strong maltiness. There's not really much of a maltiness quality to it at all. It, it's not a West Coast IPA because it's not, or not West Coast styled IPA because it doesn't have that really strong citrusy bitterness. There's that sweetness to it. It's just a good IPA. It's a good, it's a good beer all around. If you've watched any of my collab my um, videos that are about the drafting table collaborations, I haven't been really over the moon or crazy about them. But I really like this one. This is a really good, just straight up solid, good IPA. Um, if you are looking for a new IPA to try and you think you've tried everything out there, I think that Resolute by Drafting Table, 7.7% .7 would be a really good one to try. I think unfortunately, because they are, they have such a small footprint, a lot of it is uh, tap room uh, distributed or sold out of the tap room. And I, like I said, I have seen it. I saw it on shelves at ABC. I haven't seen it on, I haven't gone anyplace else since this has been released to see if it's on shelves anywhere else. There are some bottle shops that do, um, you know, the, the, the tap room or the brewery does self distribution. So you might get lucky finding it, but this is one that I think you need to go into the tap room. If you can't find this on the shelf, make time to go into drafting table and try this one. It's worth it. This is a really good, solid, super solid IPA. And on that note, if you're looking for just a solid IPA, I think this one's definitely one to pick up. All right, friends, that has been Resolute from Drafting Table in Wixom. If you go to their tap room, let them know you saw their video right here. Have you had this beer? Or do you have a favorite from Drafting Table? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like Michigan beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about Michigan beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And if you're looking for something new, I might just have the right beer for you. I didn't even mean for that to rhyme. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.